guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new this video is going to be another one of my weekend long vlogs i know you guys have been really enjoying these so i'm just going to keep filming them today is thursday i'm starting it off a little bit early because i have a photo shoot to go to it's actually a maternity shoot which i don't do very often i'm going downtown to a studio that i've worked out of before anyways i will see you guys when i get there Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my kit and everything. Also, just a side note, I got these containers from Muji. I know I said in previous vlogs that I didn't have a Muji store near me, so I totally paid way too much to ship a couple of these. This is one of their PP make boxes, I think that's what it's called, and it has, it's like the cotton bud organizer. It looks like this. It basically has two sections where you can put Q-tips or whatever you want inside of there. I decided to move things around, and I put the second one inside of here, so I put all my sponges and cotton pads right here. I did used to have them in the Zuka pouch up top, as you guys might have seen in previous vlogs. I always use the cotton squares and the sponges really often, so I wanted to have them right here instead. I'm going to go ahead and clean off everything. I'm pretty much just going to be spraying everything down with alcohol and doing light cell wipes on everything kind of just how I normally do if you guys want to see an in-depth sanitation video I will be linking it up above as I usually do and if you guys want to see a more in-depth organization kind of um, I guess cleaning video and everything I can link a couple of vlogs that I've done up above pretty much everything just needs to be kind of cleaned out and organized now I have this fun thing on top of my head because I was trying to take off my makeup, <laughs> but I'm actually in my car right now. It's literally about like, what time is it? Eight o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm in my car right now because I got this camera mount from Amazon for my car. So I'm going to try to figure out how this is supposed to go. I just feel like if this sits like in the middle of the window and everything, it might possibly block my vision. So I don't exactly know how this is going to go. So let me turn you around. Like if I put it... I, mean, I guess if I stick it here, then it wouldn't be too in the way. If I put it over to the side, then it would be sitting right here. But then if I put it in the middle, then it would be here. Okay, so I think this is the best that I can probably do with the camera vlog situation because then I'll be driving like this. It'll be kind of interesting because I'll be like so freaking close, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm trying to figure out if this is the best place for it, but I guess I already stuck it to my window, so I can't really do anything else about it now. <laughs> but um, yeah, at least the you know camera like won't be held by me or anything, and it won't be a safety issue. I can just mount it to here and be done with it. I know I'm trying to slowly improve my quality of content for you guys and everything. Got this new vlogging camera and everything, so hopefully you guys have really enjoyed everything. As of right now, I think I'm going to sign off here. I don't really have much things to do tomorrow, but I actually am getting my hair redone. I finally am going a little bit blonder. A lot of people go darker for fall, but since I'm already 
like I already have dark hair naturally. I decided to not waste the fact that, you know, I bleached my hair like three different times. So I'm actually gonna go blonder. Yeah, so I'm gonna be re-highlighting my hair completely tomorrow and that should take probably about like four hours or so because then I also need a haircut like really, really badly too. Oh, I'm also trying a new hairstylist too, by the way, because I haven't gone to the salon for hair before. I've just gone there for my massages that I get every once in a while, which has not been for a while now. So I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. Um, but besides that, I pretty much just need to do like house stuff. I really need to clean the house because it's not been cleaned in like a couple weeks now and just kind of do other things, but I don't have any jobs tomorrow. Okay guys, it's future Julie here, but I decided to go ahead and introduce Friday's day because it's currently Sunday right now, but uh, my footage from Friday was like way too long for me to export onto my phone. So I'm just gonna act like it's Friday today. <laughs> but yeah, um, I basically woke up with a message from the bridal client that I had on Saturday and she basically had said to me that one of her bridesmaids ended up not wanting to do makeup, but according to my contract and my policies, if you cancel within, you know, a week before your wedding, you owe the full balance. So she still did have to pay for it. That's why you want to have some sort of cancellation clause like that to basically save your butt. So you still are making the money and not losing anything. So yeah, take note, if you do bridal contracts, that's a very good thing to have because I have had several people in the past drop people at the last minute. I feel like a lot of people think that it's not their problem, but if you write it into a contract then they're obviously responsible for it and they signed off on it so they have to come up with the cost and then um yeah other than that um let's see what else did i do on friday oh i got my hair done <laughs> so you'll see that footage after this <laughs> so yeah sorry i had to jump around a little bit but yeah i just realized that that footage was like way too long because i spent the entire time doing my makeup and it was like a 54 minute long video and it would have made this video this whole entire vlog footage like literally so so long so yeah i just wanted to make sure that friday's intro video was short and sweet for you guys and just kind of let you know what was going on for the day oh my god i literally feel so bad i was literally sitting there and killing time and meanwhile my hairstylist actually contacted me at like 1203 <laughs> and it's 12 35 right now so like 10 minutes before my appointment's actually supposed to start and at 12.03 she's like well I'm running ahead of schedule so you can definitely come earlier and I'm like oh my god I was busy literally doing YouTube stuff and like exporting stuff and I totally could have probably gotten her ahead of schedule which she probably would have appreciated so I feel incredibly bad about the fact that I literally just ignored her text message because I thought it was a spam message so I'm heading to my appointment now talk to you guys there Good guys, let me get in the car here. Oh my god, guys, look at how amazing of a job she did. Like, let me take off my sunglasses. Look at this hair. Oh my god, it looks so good. I also like the way she curled it too. I usually don't leave my ends like super straight. And it's really funny because I totally commented and um, told her that usually I don't have my ends straight like this. I usually curl them all the way down. She's like, oh my gosh, do you want them curled? I was like, no, I actually like this better. <laughs> so I might just like instead start styling my hair like this. I know it's a really trendy like boho sort of thing, but oh my God, like my hair looks so good. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because now that I have a viewfinder, I'm taking advantage of it. But yeah, um, I might have my husband take me out tonight because like I look hella cute now. Like look at this with my dress and everything. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to be heading back home now and then probably just going to be editing videos and everything. Currently home now. I had to do a CVS run, of course. So I actually ended up picking up a couple of lipsticks because uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like going all the way to Ulta and CVS is really close to my house. So I decided to pick up these two lipsticks here just to refill my lipstick palette. Then of course I had to pick up my Ardell Dummy Wispies. So I did that. And then I also got a birthday card for my mom because her birthday is on Thursday. So I had to go get that. <laughs> but anyways, right now I'm just going to be prepping my touch up kits and everything for the wedding tomorrow.
lashes stored. And also just in case you guys were wondering, this is the Viewset Taxi palette. You can get them off of Camera Ready Cosmetics or off of Viewset's website. And then I just cut down all my lashes and everything and put them into this little plastic container. I'm going to start getting together my touch-up kits here. I pretty much have everything. So I have all my little sample jars right here. I do have a wedding tomorrow. I have a total of technically seven full applications and I have the bride that's just doing her eyes and then I have her daughter who's six that's the flower girl so she'll be a partial application obviously so I have everybody's sample jars here obviously not one for the flower girl so yeah just gonna be assembling touch-up kits here and that's about it I've showed this a lot of times before, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what the touch-up kits look like. These are what they are, and to be totally honest, as I've said in other videos, you definitely do not need to include this many things in your touch-up kits. This is the bride's touch-up kits, and then I have a simplified version for everybody else. So in the bride's touch-up kit, I usually put a thing of lash glue. I get these tubes off of Amazon, and I just label them with my label maker because a lot of people don't realize what this is, um, especially because it's black, but it's just like a dark lash adhesive. So I put a label on that to label lash glue so people know what it is. Then I add a couple of Q-tips because you just never know what you can use Q-tips for. Then right back here I also have little doe foot applicators for the lipstick. Then I have one sample jar for powder and then one sample jar for their lips. I do fill the lips up on site and I usually include just enough for them to touch up their lips at least twice. I have a single use Neutrogena wipe just so they can wipe off their makeup because the majority of people that hire me to do makeup usually don't wear makeup on an everyday basis and they may not have anything to take it off at night so I like to include those. I of course include a sponge to touch up with the powder and then I have my business card back here with some um, oil blotting sheets and then I just secure them with a bobby pin. And for everybody else, I basically have everything that I put in the bride's kit except for lash glue and the oil blotting sheets, but everything else I include in my little um, bags here. So yeah, that's the rest of the bridal touch-up kits complete here. I have all my touch-up kits in here now. They just fit nicely in this little pocket here. Because I have so many people to do tomorrow, I'm going to be able to go ahead and separate out brushes into these brush pouches. I basically do one set for each person, and this also saves you a lot of time because you won't need to be cleaning brushes in between people. You can just, you know, shove the dirty ones in here or wherever you want to, and then you just grab a new pouch. And a lot of people do ask me what I include in each pouch. I can show you really quickly what I do include in them. I usually start off in the order that I usually like to do makeup because then I will basically make sure that I'm not missing a step, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have a double-ended brow brush in here. Then I also want to make sure I put in some sort of flat brush here. This usually is good for primers. And you can also use them for foundation too, but I usually use them for primers. Then next, I usually like to take a concealer brush and go in with product that way. So I'm going to go in with this concealer brush here. And I use this to apply eyeshadow primer and also put foundation all over people's faces too. But that's the next step that I go in. Then I'm going to add a few blending brushes. I usually do a fluffy blending brush because of course you need one of those. Then I want to make sure I put in a little flat brush right here. And then 
another one here. I just wanna make sure I have enough brushes for the bride, but I'm only doing her eyes. I forgot about that. I started packing like I was doing a normal application. And then I need an eyeliner brush. So I'm just using an angled liner brush here. So I wanna put that in there. I think that should be about it as far as eyes go. So I'm gonna set hers aside. And then next one, I'm gonna show you the face brushes. Also, I get these clear pouches from Amazon. I can link you guys where I get these, but I do highly suggest that you get a better option from Amazon. And I would just look up like clear plastic bags or something like that. These ones are really flimsy, so I would probably just look that up and try to find like a better option because these aren't super stable. I wanna put in, as far as face, I wanna put in a foundation slash primer brush. Then I wanna make sure I put in a highlighting brush. Then I wanna put in a fluffy powder brush like this. And then um, that's pretty much it for face to be completely honest. Like I use an angled brush like this for a blush bronzer. And then I use this for highlighter and this for primer obviously. So I really don't have that many other things. And then I use a sponge for the majority of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start packing my eye stuff now. And then in this one, I'm actually going to put one of my sponges. I get a lot of questions about where I get my sponges from. They're the Beauty 360 brand. This is actually CVS's house brand. And I just get these jumbo wedge sponges that they have. The problem is they only come 20 in a pack. And it's really annoying because you literally have to refill them like super often. But see, this is what I meant. <laughs> these things always break. So I would definitely make sure you guys get like a better option for these plastic containers because they freaking always break on me. Okay, I got all my brush pouches in here. They're a little bit tight in here, but yep, that's pretty much what the bag situation looks like. So I carry that with me and then I got everything sanitized through here. I think that's about it for today, guys. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I have to wake up at about, mm, I wanna say like six o'clock or so just to make myself look presentable. <laughs> and then I wanna get up and then I have to be at the wedding spot by 7.25. So yeah, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. It's currently 6.25 in the morning here, and I am now awake. If you talked to me about 10 minutes ago, I probably would not have been awake. I unfortunately did pull my back out last night. I think I slept wrong, and now it hurts underneath my shoulder blade. And it hurts to take deep breaths, so hopefully I can get through this day okay. It might be a little bit of a struggle to try to make it through the day and all the applications. I know the bride was actually saying kind of her aesthetic for her wedding and it's actually something different that I've never heard of before or done before as a makeup artist so I'm pretty excited about it. She said that all of her girls including her were wearing black dresses and then she asked all of her wedding guests to wear white which I thought was super interesting. So she has this really really bold vampy look that she's doing on herself and I think it's going to turn out really cool looking. I can't wait to see her photos. I gotta go pack up my car because I literally have like everything imaginable underneath the sun that I'm bringing with me. The sun doesn't start rising until 725 so depending on where I'm at I might need to bring my glam core light so I have my light with me. I have my chair just in case they don't have like a high enough chair that I can sit people because if they don't my back's definitely going to be hurting even more than it already is. <laughs> If I have to do seven full applications, like I'm gonna need back help, like it's gonna happen. <laughs> so I am bringing my chair, my glam core light, my makeup case, obviously I have my backpack with me and then I'm also bringing stuff to film. So yeah, I have like everything underneath the sun and uh, yeah, I think that um, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to carry, but <laughs> hopefully I will get through the day. Tears upon your 
skin Tears upon your friends Upon your friends Oh no Once in a while. 
profile as a makeup artist. Right now, I'm just headed home and I'm probably gonna stop at T-Bell on the way home, AKA Taco Bell, because I need food. I have a really bad migraine going on right now and I'm actually going to, it's called the Johnny Appleseed Festival in my town. Everybody's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's so Midwestern, like when you guys hear about it, but it's literally like an outdoor fair with a whole bunch of like arts and crafts booths and everything and a whole bunch of food and I'm really freaking excited about it. So I'm going there with a friend. I think I might just go and honestly just kind of enjoy myself because I feel like not all part of my life needs to be on YouTube. I mean, it's nice to share things with you guys and everything, but I just feel bad sometimes not being like in the moment, if you know what I mean. I just still wanna enjoy my life and everything. And if I'm filming all the time, I just kind of am constantly thinking about filming and not necessarily just enjoying my time. So you know what? I don't think I'm gonna include anything from the Johnny Appleseed Festival. I think I'm just gonna go and enjoy myself and have fun with my friends. Anyways, I'll just talk to you guys later. I just made it back home from the Johnny Appleseed Festival and it went so, so well. I'm really excited that I finally got to meet up with my friend again. We haven't seen each other for quite some time. Things just get really busy when you become an adult and I feel like your friends are still your friends but you just don't see them super often anymore because you guys both work and everything and have different schedules. So it was really great to be able to hang out with her and I got a lot of fun stuff. I got a whole bunch of bath bombs. <laughs> We went through like this artsy craft kind of section and everything and people were making homemade bath bombs So of course I had to pick some up now I'm just going to be cleaning my kit I didn't clean it earlier because I was basically just concentrating on trying to get my headache to go away and also trying to eat and everything too So I'm going to be cleaning up my kit right now. I also do have a couple of bridal previews tomorrow I have one at like 8 o'clock in the morning I think that I have to go downtown for at a hotel and then I also have one at my house tomorrow too again I don't like to vlog bridal previews just just because people might possibly want to keep it a secret and then also I feel like it's my time to thoroughly bond with the bride and get to know them and everything and I don't want a camera in their face the whole time. Also just a side note this is literally what happens when you have a nine person wedding. It's great. So many freaking brushes to clean that's gonna take me like two hours to clean. Okay, it's currently Sunday morning and I'm getting ready to go to my bridal preview. I have to go to a hotel downtown, so I'm gonna be getting ready and doing that. I'm almost done here. I literally am just throwing on blush, bronzer, and highlighter. I really don't do a whole lot. I just feel like you sometimes don't have to overdo it to be able to look put together, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna be doing um, this surprise makeup application and everything, and then I'm gonna be coming home and then setting up for another bridal preview. So I'll be able to show you guys that, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance to really like vlog the experience or anything with me doing the makeup or anything. Okay guys, I am headed home. I'm coming back from a bridal preview that I went to the Hampton Inn downtown. Now I'm just gonna go back home and eat because I have quite a bit before my next bridal preview at two. It's kind of an odd time because it's 10 15 right now so I got some time to kill. I will talk to you guys when I get home and kind of go through I guess the cleaning process and resetting up process of doing my makeup kit and everything so I will talk to you guys when I get home. This is the dirty towel. Also, this bride asked for a purple kind of look, and I completely forgot to take a photo. I know you guys probably would have wanted to see that, but I'll make sure to take one on wedding day. Um, but I had to put a purple and like a more maroon kind of shade in there just for the bride's makeup look. She's doing a Halloween gothic themed wedding, so I had to do more of like the plummy purple kind of tones. And I think the applicators are good. Didn't really use very many because I only had one person. Makeup wipes are good. I need to refill this thing. I'm gonna grab more paper towels. This is all my dirty brushes that I have here. So I'm just gonna get them out of the pouch and I need to clean this palette too. And I did do the luxury facial because I gotta clean off this facial roller. All the brushes. Also, I'm filming on my other camera right now because my other vloggy camera is exporting stuff to my phone right now. So I'm having to wait on that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just be spraying off everything with alcohol. And letting it dry.
clean off those a little bit. This is my palette I'm cleaning off here. Time to clean the brushes. Again, I just use a mixture of dish soap and olive oil to clean these. Also, it doesn't really matter what kind of dish soap and olive oil you use. I just use like a 80-20 mixture or something like that. So yeah, I'm just going to be cleaning my brushes and then later when it gets closer to 2 o'clock to when my bridal client's going to be coming, I'll show you guys how I set up. I'm seriously struggling, guys. <laughs> it's still exporting here. And then I had an issue with memory space and I had to delete a couple of videos that I already filmed. But I want to include everything in the vlog and it's hard. <laughs> so just let me know what you guys want to see because I can't include every single thing that I want to because otherwise the video is going to be A, way too long or B, I'm going to run out of memory space. So um, yeah, I got to start cutting footage somewhere and I just don't know if you guys mainly want to see kid stuff or if you want to see my personal stuff. I'm not really sure what to start including in these vlogs or what I guess to leave in them if that makes sense. Like what's more important to you guys? Just let me know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up for my bridal client that's coming because I have about 20 minutes before she's supposed to show up. Okay, black towel. And also, you guys always comment about the fact that my kit setup is always so simple, but it honestly should be. Like, you should be able to have everything and find everything really easily and not have to question where things are, because the more, obviously, that you start shuffling around with things, the more time it's going to take up in the application process. So just make sure you can set up and tear down within five minutes or so. All I want to do here is literally unload most of the stuff out the top of here. The bride already sent me the look that she wanted, and she has a pretty basic look compared to the one I did this morning. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring out my neutral eyeshadow palette there, and then I'm just going to bring out setting spray, which I need to get more of that, by the way. I'm running out. Then this is my disposables case. I always keep this with the palettes and everything. I usually use this Artist Kit Company palette, this clear one here, but in case I for some odd reason just don't want to clean it or it's not coming clean very easily on site, I will go ahead and switch to a metal one that's sitting at the bottom of here. Then I want to make sure I get out my Makeup Forever Danny's pouch here. I usually use one side as a trash can and then one side as a dirty brush holder. So if you guys look over here, um, then I'll put dog poo bags and use them as little trash bags for a mini trash can. And this one does obviously have a smaller side and a bigger side, and I obviously use the bigger side for the trash can. So yeah, I'll just stick that in there, and then it literally just makes like a mini trash can, and then I put dirty brushes on this side. So then after each client, I'll scoop this out and then put it in one of my bags that I have to make sure that the dirty brushes stay away from the clean ones. I don't ever want there to be confusion on site over which ones are clean and which ones are dirty, so that's why I try to keep them all separate. Then I have my disposables container. I'm going to shift this to the side. My disposables container usually has to lay up on something because I like these to be out and open and everything just so I can have easy access to it. So I laid my palette out over here instead. Then I want to make sure I have makeup remover wipes just in case. This is the brush pouch that I usually put all my dirty brushes in after each person. And this is the mirror that I will actually put on the client's little table next to the chair and everything. And she can look at it whenever she wants to just to let me know if things are going in the right direction, etc. Like you literally do not have to lay out all of Sephora on the station. Like you literally just have to do the basics. And especially if you know what kind of look that your person's going for, then you know, do it as simple as possible. Don't make your life harder than it already is. So as soon as I literally get everything out of the top that I need, all I have to do is literally just zip this back up and then fold it up and then everything is right where it's supposed to be and easily accessible and then that way I don't have to have stuff on top that I'm constantly having to like push this down for and then get up to the top for some reason like if you guys have stuff that you need out of the top just put them all on your workstation like that and then it just makes things a lot easier for you to grab and navigate and everything it'll save you a ton of time when you're really organized like this and just Again, condense your stuff as much as you possibly can. I know that I keep saying that to you guys, but condensing is honestly really key. 
not just for it being lightweight and compact for you to carry around, but also because you'll have less stuff and less options to choose from, which also makes you a better artist because then it forces you to mix and match things instead of just like having every single foundation color. It just kind of use your resources a little bit more. You don't have to have one of like every single range of color that the line keeps. Do you know what I mean? Lastly, all I have to do is set up my chair right here. I usually light that candle that's right there. And then I also have one in the entryway that I light just to kind of give a little bit of an ambiance going on. But other than that, I will just be waiting for my client. My bride has officially left and the bridal preview went super, super well. I loved the look that we came up with. But this is also my last client of this weekend, which means the vlog is going to end here. I just have a ton of things to clean up now. So again, if you guys have really enjoyed this vlog, definitely go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button if you guys do enjoy makeup artist content. As always, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.